Thank you guys so much for joining us uh, today. We're really, really excited to have you. Um, this is a very special webinar. It's got a little bit of a mix of uh, some technical stuff, but you know, nothing that all of you guys can't handle. Um, and it's very light, so I promise you that it won't bore you. I'm gonna do my absolute best to be super caffeinated and animated and energized for you guys so that I could retain your attention. Because this is probably of all the webinars I've done, and some of you know me, I do quite a bit. This is likely uh, about the second most, or if not the most important thing that I'm gonna talk about when it comes to getting a general handle and an overall aspect on digital marketing in general. I know a lot of you, um, you know, struggle with the aspect of digital marketing and it could seem very daunting because there's a lot to it. Well, online reputation, it's one of those things that is at the base and core of it. And I'm super, super excited to be sharing uh, this, uh, this information with you guys. My hopes is that I can keep your attention and I could be animated enough where uh, you, um, you get a lot out of it. So do me a big favor and just give me all of your attention. Make sure to turn off or silence your phones, close out any Facebook tab on your browsers, and by all means, feel free to ask away any questions on the chat. Um, I'm gonna do my best to answer them. We have uh, members of our team that are gonna join us here today to also answer some of your questions, even while I'm um, speaking. So don't feel like by asking questions, you're gonna hold it up. Um, or, or interrupt or anything like that. We wanted to make this as uh, interactive and as dynamic as possible for you guys. But just be sure, I'm gonna try to be as prompt as possible as far as time goes. Make sure I stick to a good schedule. Just be sure to stick with me for the one hour and give me all of your undivided. And I guarantee you, you know, if you're in the power sports marine or, or, or RV space, that the next 60 minutes or so are gonna be a game changer. So what are we gonna talk about? What are we here to discover today, right? We're gonna talk about the elements and main components that make up your online reputation, how to get a grip and a handle on it, why claiming your listings and citations and what the heck are they um, is important, how to quickly get more reviews from your customers, and how to prioritize the things that, that you can do to prioritize your dealer's online reputation. So your time is very valuable. Why should you listen to me? Why should you just take the time to, you know, after a long weekend, um, sit here and, and, you know, spend your next one hour with me? Well, let me just tell you a little bit as quickly as I possibly can about me. Um, I have over 15 years of experience in internet marketing and I started out at a prominent dealership in South Florida. Um, I have extensive uh, experience in the outdoor industry, but also a passion, which I'll share in a little bit. Um, for the for for the outdoors the outdoor industries, but particularly power sports, boating, and recreational fishing, um, I've done some of some uh, collaborations with some industry leaders such as Mark Sheffield, um, Lot Vantage, uh, Dealership Fix It, Dealer News, and um, you guys, some of you may know me or may have already found uh, my column called uh, Digital Marketing and Power Sports Business. And uh, also, I have some articles going on in, in Boating Industry Magazines. So what's all of this about and why are we behind this? Well, um, at Beyond Creative and Dealer Elite Pro, what we do is essentially services to uplift and help dealerships be successful as far as it comes to dominating the digital space, right? So some of the, the list of things that we handle for our clients on a regular basis are like the ones that you see on your screen. But who are we? And that goes to the core of like what I was talking about earlier, which is about my passion in the power sports industry. And I was just gifted with this vision to help the power sports industry get back to the 21st century when it comes to technology um, unfortunately, the power sports marine and RV industries have been redheaded stepchild to the automotive industry and have been left in the dust. Um, they're, not, they're, they're not empowered enough. They're not giving the materials and the tools um, that, that, we re that they really need. So from having tons of clients that we help, one of the things that immediately came you know, to, to our attention is that dealers really need a proven system if you would, a customer acquisition machine. 
Now, I'm going to share a little bit with you before we actually jump right into what we're here today for the main core of, of, our, of our topic, which is online um, reviews and citations, right? But the crazy thing is that what I'm about to show you includes also in there within this kind of bigger formula on how to really make the internet work for you. In there, you're going to see that reviews is one of the cornerstones. So please make sure that the, the, the tools of automation that I'm sh about to show you use it for the forces of good and not evil. This is really what the typical um, <clears throat> landscape would look like as far as digital marketing, right? It could seem daunting and complicated. A lot of people are like, what the heck is this and the graphs and all of that? Don't worry. It's just really about mapping it out and it, there's got, it's got a lot of arteries and veins to it and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's just mapping things out and that's really all there is to it. And that's how we help dealers, right? We mapped all of that out. And then afterward, after we map the customer journey, when we say once they've reached the dealer, how do they interact with the dealer? So what is their journey like? And being able to leverage booking an appointment, not booking it, appointment reminders, a sequence of emails to keep your, your, uh, your leads engaged and making the most out of your advertising dollars. So we came up with essentially a dealer revenue accelerator system, which is composed of those four pillars I was talking about, which is attracting qualified customers, using a proven lead capture method, scheduling uh, automations, um, and the post-sale reputation management, which is a perfect segue into what we're gonna speak about today, right? So what does your average customer's journey look like? A lot of you know this, right? The first step, let me just go back to that one, is the attract stage. So how do you guys attract people? Well. There's a lot of different ways that you could do it, but in reality, you're gonna want you know, to go back to where the people are. 97% of people are hanging out on these big networks you see on your screen. Google, um, you can reach them through Google Ads and also through organic SEO, AKA search engine optimization. They're on Google Maps, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook. So there was like an infamous bank robber and he was at once asked like, what do you rob banks? And it's because that's where the money is. So that's exactly what this is about, right? Let's go to the core of where people are. And what we do as far as the system that we have come up with and we implement for our dealers, it, one of the, the pillars about going to where people are is total first page domination as far as search engine optimization goes. And that means working with the map pack up there and getting ranked organically getting ranked also for ads and also getting ranked orga organically in the body of um, Google ads. We do the same thing also as far as lead generation for Facebook goes. So that's a super, super important part. But then what does it look like as far as when you've captured the lead? Well, there are multiple things that you need to keep in mind and leverage in order for you to be successful. And that's going to boil down to a transparent and easy to understand platform or dashboard that can report on your efforts, all of your efforts into one place. That's an important part of the component. And to get complete lead reporting as far as what is it costing me per lead? What is my total investment? How many leads am I getting? Um, and you could just imagine, I mean, you could go all, you know, all day long as far as metrics. But having a clear, concise system is important. So what's next? Well, the scheduling aspect of it, all right, is super, super critical. And this is, as far as number three, the biggest factor between top performing dealerships and pretty much everyone else, as we know, you know, that economist, Italian economist uh, um, theory about like 80%, you know, of results come from like 20% of the efforts. It's very similar in, in the dealership world. 80% of the revenue is being taken by 20% of the dealers. So what are they doing differently than the dealers that are missing out on that chunk of revenue? Very simple, lead handling. Lead handling is super, super critical, an important component and here's part of where the problem starts, right? Over 60% of inbound traffic to your site leaves unconverted. They do nothing. And then 90% of web form submissions off of a website or like let's say one that's submitted on Facebook fail to convert, meaning you never uh, actually turn that into any kind of sale. That's a ton of missed opportunity. Revenue loss on the table. Now here is the core of why that is. I mean, look at these numbers, and this is probably going to be about, if not the biggest takeaway for today, the second biggest. I do have a different, another really important, cool nugget to, you, for, uh, to share with you guys later on. But look at that lead response. Almost 400% if leads are replied to or answered within minute one. I mean, these are hardcore numbers. These are things that, you know, it's not just like feelings or, oh, I think it'll be better. 
And, and this is enormous because, I mean, think about how much money is possibly being left on the table from the efforts that either you're already driving or, or that you could be you know, driving or generating. So mapping out a customer journey within automation is gonna help you leverage that. So you don't have to have your sales staff like constantly be calling and dialing, oh my gosh, you know? It, it's a lot of work and, and they forget it and then you gotta go back and you gotta retrain them. Having, leveraging technology and making as human as possible is a super critical part of that uh, formula that we've, that we've created. And there's the post-service, right? And this is gonna segue perfectly, perfectly into what we really came here today, which is reviews. The post-service is really about collecting data you know, for those that are not happy with you and also finding out um, what went wrong, what could have been done differently, and also to generate, and most importantly, generate new reviews and, and raise your average um, score, if you would, as far as how many stars you have. So using a review software and or listing management tool is a, simple, a super critical component of this. Um, you wanna generate a new lead. It's gonna, this is gonna help you generate new leads. It's gonna help you dominate local SEO and build your online reputation and be uh, at the top of search engines. So, you know, when you do things like this, I mean, you, 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 you uh, realize uh, results such as these, you know? Look at um, over the time span of a year and change, the drastic enormous difference uh, on and off season that you know, we have been realizing as far as gains for our clients. And he, here are some of the dealerships that we help, such as Sunrise Motorsports, Johnny K's, Jack Rabbit, Shawnee. And you know what, these are not just dealership clients of ours, they're family. Um, here's like a little feedback, it's about 20, 30 seconds from one of our clients, this is relatively recent. And let me know if you guys can hear the video, by the way. Hi, this is John Canales from Caliente Harley Davidson, and this is? Our marketing manager and the team, we wanted to give a big shout out to Joe and the team at Beyond Creative for making our life easier for the last three months. Without Beyond Creative and what they do, we would not be able to have the kind of months that we've had for the last three months. Help us get through this COVID situation, help us reach out to our customers, stay in contact, high level of engagement. Hey Joe, we just wanted to say thank you. Right guys? Thank you. Thank you, Joe. That's awesome, guys. Um, it's always really happy for us to see things like that and see testimonials like that. And just wanted to really share that, um, not to show off, but just because we're super excited about things like that. And by the way, that's actually one of the things that we're going to talk about today. And we're just about to get into the, you know, into the topic. Um, and, and, and testimonials and reviews are important. So now having thought about the four pillars, core pillars, as far as automation and as far as a revenue driving machine um, for, for your dealership, the big question is, do you see how a proven system, a four-step system would work for your dealership to generate more customers? Now, this is not the main reason why we're here for. So I've got my people and my team backing me up on chat. If you're interested, you could do any of the things that you see currently on your screen. You could visit gobeyondcreative.com slash schedule. You're gonna find my calendar directly on there and then grab something from there. I'm pretty much booked uh, through next week because we have a conference and all of that this, uh, this week. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty accessible. There's my email as well. Um, or feel free to say I'm in or tell me more or whatever you like in the chat and one of our, um, one of our uh, team members you know, will, will hook it up. So what are we here today for? Let's jump into the meat and potatoes of what we came here today for. And it's about improving your dealership's online reputation. Um, and so what does that mean, right? Well, your web your reputation is a little bit more than like just a carefully thought out site uh, or social media post. Your online reputation for the most part is something that you can control, but it's also about mentions, like what people have said about you, um, where they have said it, listings that show the contact information for your dealership. And those are things that are very, very important. It's a sum of what's being said about you, plus the information that's out there about you as far as uh, leads and potential customers being able uh, to reach you. So here are some of the aspects that play an enormous role on your online reputation. These are the, the primary ones. Your online reviews from customers is super critical. Your, web, uh, your, your dealership's web listings, also known as citations, are critical. Now, what are these? Well, 
Uh, essentially, most of you know what a listing or a citation is. It's essentially like a Google My Business profile. The big difference with like Google, with for instance, Facebook, because Facebook is another listing, is that Facebook happens to be your Facebook page um, and also happens to be a social media platform. Uh, but in reality, when you really think about it, um, the your Facebook page is part of a larger directory where people can access uh, a, a bank of data on different businesses that they can go to or that they can rely on. That is essentially a directory. And anything that's either a listing, uh, a, a, listings and citations are those, are those items inside of a directory. So that's a, a really critical component. We'll go over that. Uh, testimonials and social proof. Some of the ones that we just actually, I just mirrored for you guys, like the one that I showed you a, a, a few a minutes ago. S your social media pages and posts and what kind of role that plays into it and the quality and the design of your website and the blog section of your website. And this is probably one that like is kind of foreign to a lot of people. So let's jump right in. And by the way, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put um, stuff on the chat, okay? So your, your dealer's web reputation, right? How do you, what, where do you start, right? The first thing is, um, let's, you gotta think about it as far as like getting a handle on everything that's out there about your dealership. One of the best ways, believe it or not, as archaic or just like down in the nitty gritty as it made sound, is for you to start by Googling your own name, your dealership's name. So just go in there and, you know, put ABC Power Sports in, you know, Michigan and just type it in and then create an Excel spreadsheet and actually start tracking what you find. Make note of any incorrect kind of information that you find. Um, and yes, uh, uh, Daniel, by the way, just to answer your question, uh, I'll gladly show examples. I believe somewhere in between, I have some videos where I'm gonna actually show you a little bit of an example. Um, so you start making notes and you particularly make notes on any inaccuracies or inconsistencies that you see, any sort of negative comments as well. Write those, you can actually use them. Track your social media mentions too. And there are some um, different types of software that you could definitely use for tracking social media mentions. There's a lot of them that are even free. I don't have a list of them here today, but if you're interested in getting some of those, just say like, you know, send me send me list of, of social media mention tracking software in the chat and then we'll hit you up with it um so where do you start kind of getting a grip right so you've already kind of started googling and going through you now have like your spreadsheet and you're keeping track of your spreadsheet what do you do next well you start looking out for everything really should match as far as from one listing to the other so like in other words all of the information on your Google My Business needs to be identical, and I mean identical, to the one in your Facebook, uh, in, on your Facebook page, like your business hours, um, your, uh, you know, your your web address, your phone number, everything. But the most single-handedly important thing that you need to look out for is something called NAP. Like literally, I'm gonna take a nap, you know, after this kind of nap. Um, what does it stand for? So essentially, um, it stands for name, address, and phone number. And what this is, is essentially the standard that search engines use to identify your dealership across uh, the web, across different directories. Why is it important to actually have this um, perfected and ironed out because there's multiple reasons. The most ba basic and granular one is that if your name, address, and phone number are all accurate and correct throughout the different uh, directories, it's going to indicate to them, okay, this is the same business. And then it, it puts it in that category and it knows it's ABC Power Sports in you know Michigan or whatever. And then something else happens too, which is, Aside with reviews and things that we're gonna get into in a, in a second, um, it starts strengthening the reputation of your domain and it starts building up reputation and it starts going up. So the more listings and citations that there are on the web, the more reputation you build. Now, later on, I'm gonna get into some of the tools that you could use, because um, there are many out there. And I'm gonna give you at least like a good chunk of five, 
uh, that you can look into and, and use to track your NAP and your name, address, and phone number. Um, but it, it's super critical that you, continuous, that you continuously check on the NAP. And the reason why is because what ends up happening, a lot of people have no clue about this. And the reason why there are often be inaccuracies on the web about your business, about your dealership is because these um, directories, if you would call them, they, first of all, they end up popping up left and right. It almost feels like every, you know, every other day, there's a new one that just opened up and wants to be a directory for X, Y, Z. Uh, and so they open up and then what do they need? They need listings. So they actually have people crawl the web for information and it's a very manual sort of entered input type of deal. And they'll end up entering your dealers, then they'll come across your dealer's website and they'll end up entering your data incorrectly. That's why it's also so important, by the way, to have your data perfectly corrected on your website. It kind of all starts there. But let's say hypothetically, which happens too often, your data is correct on your website, but these people took it and then they input it and they created a listing that you did not request. And there was data entry error. And guess what? Now you've got an incorrect listing. So that's part of the process of why it's so important to continuously be checking on your um, listings and, and citations. You guys give me like a thumbs up or a yes or, or a hell yeah on the chat if you can still hear me and you guys are good and you're, and you're with me and staying awake. All right, awesome. So, <clears throat> the next thing I would recommend if you've got your spreadsheet and you're keeping track of all the different listings, citations, all the mentions, uh, everything, um, head on over to any of the listings and citations directories and start claiming. There's, there's an option. Sometimes it's very hidden. Sometimes you have to hit contact us or whatever the case may be, but start claiming as many of those profiles. Places like Google My Business, Facebook, Yext, uh, let me see, Foursquare, they make it relatively easy, right? Um, you could just claim it and then you have, to do, you have to do a little bit of a verification process. Some of them require that they send you a postcard. Some of them just you know, require for you to um, verify certain information that only the dealer would know. And then you own the listing. But it's super important to claim those listings because if you don't, they may continue to float inaccurate information. And that's actually an, a, an important component that when you marry it then to software that you're gonna be utilizing, um, that you will be able to control and change and have those updated and changed. So um, once you have um, claimed listings, then you should update all relevant information, create compelling descriptions, and add inside and outside pictures of your stores. Um, you know, do like a 360 if you can, um, do panoramics, do, just mix it up and do, you know, as many different things as you can. Now that is pretty much taking care of, a, of an important topic when it comes to your online reputation, which is the side of listings and citations, right? Let's move on to another side, which some dealers are pretty keen on. And I'm guessing all of you joining me here, uh, you know, may, uh, kind of be familiar with this, but what the heck? I think that you know it, this may this will likely still give some valuable information to you guys. So uh, let's let's uh, dive into it and let's talk about reviews, right? That's the next important part. So what about reviews? Well, one of the most critical things that you need to think about and know about and concern yourself with as far as reviews is that you need to not only answer to them, answer to every single one of them. Not just positive, not just negative, both. The, the, the alternative is also, um, you know, to not do any at all. That's the worst alternative. Um, I would definitely make sure that you answer. And one thing that's very, very important is always be as professional as possible try to be as prompt in replying to these as you possibly can. Some of the softwares that we're going to share with you in a little bit are actually uh, have certain things built into them that help you request reviews and that also help you um, be able to reply to reviews. Negative reviews are especially important for you to uh, answer to because psychologically for those 
There's, I forget what this exact statistic is, and I think it may be coming up on one of the few, the next slides. But it's about 80% of people that research stuff online before they actually buy a service from you. Here's the crazy thing. What do you think they're researching? They're not just researching the product. They want to zone you out, find you out, and see how you, you, know, how you are as a dealer and how you treat people. What they see as far as how you reply to somebody who perhaps was being irate and maybe even likely had no basis to their complaint right? Because we all know those kind of customers. But how you reply to them is going to tell that person doing the research, which is now pretty much eight out of 10 people doing that, um, how you mitigate conflict with a potential buyer. And that's going to be an important factor they're going to be looking at. But on the technical aspect of it, I can tell you firsthand unequivoc and unequivocally that Google and other major search engines take negative uh, reviews into consideration extremely. Not only the, your average reputation, but they also weigh the fact of whether you're engaged uh, on our review or not. Um, so <clears throat> it's super, super critical that you reply promptly, uh, that you engage both negative and positive, and that you um, do it in the utmost professional way, never go tit for tat. So here, are, there's a little bonus, right? Top review request softwares, we actually use uh, two on this we we use two maybe even three i think at one point or another we have used all of them here except bird eye okay like us as in beyond creative um and we have actually had dealers that have had pretty much i think all of them um so these are all great for you guys to be able to request reviews manage them manage your listings and your citations uh, and then reply to customers. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, little video. Let me know if you can hear it just fine. And this kind of walks you through an example of what it looks like as far as on the dashboard. So this is just a little bit of, you know, maybe a, a couple of minutes of just a technical aspect of it and just kind of walking you through. So let me know if you guys can hear it um, okay without any issues. So um, I'm gonna show you guys a real life example. And let's just say um, this is somebody who, um, let's say, a, a Harley Davidson dealership. They've got you know close to uh, 5.0 stars. I mean, you're never going to be able to have a perfect score. We know that that's just humanly impossible. But 4.8 4 is very good, very solid. They've got nearly a thousand reviews, and this is Harley of Atlanta. Um, as you heard me mention earlier on, when you start doing the research and noting down anything that you've got wrong with all your different listings, it becomes quite a bit of a task real quick and, a, and, and almost like a full-time job. So, you know, going through and not only like sifting out what's being said about you online, but taking note of the different um, uh, listings and citations for your dealership on the internet, it can be time consuming. Using a spreadsheet could be useful so that you can, you know, um, have uh, the information, you're keeping track of the information that's on each of your listings, what your current reviews, uh, review count and your average rating is, um, also the URL to where it goes. Most dealerships are already very familiar on like how to actually deal with Google My Business and how to uh, manage it um, internally. Um, the problem really becomes when you're handling 60, 70, 80, or 100 of these. So that's where um, the tools come in, right? And that's that bonus that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm gonna walk you into the world of kind of like what ours looks like a little bit. So let's go back um, just a bit to like the dashboard, right? You, um, I mean, this is obviously for an agency level, so it's gonna have a lot more dealerships and locations that you would actually have on your own. But if you're a multi-line dealership with, or sorry, a multi-location dealership with uh, three, four locations, you can all see them in the dashboard. And let's just pick out, I don't know, cross country here, right? You're gonna notice when you go to the heart of the dashboard, how important listings and citations are when they sit right next to your Google rankings, your reputation, um, and so many other things like Google My Business and your analytics, right? So um, it's gonna be critical, important to improve your, your web authority. Part of that is gonna be done through the listings and the citations. So you want this score to have as many 
uh, or as little errors as possible with as many citations as you possibly can. And a great tool to do it is a program, for instance, like Bright Local. We use it for reports. Later on, I'm gonna actually walk you through uh, the Mac Daddy of what we use for um, uh, what we use for the review mechanism to request reviews, which is Dealer Lead Pro. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. That's one quick thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Put any questions uh, or comments on the chat. We'd love to hear them. All righty, cool. So yeah, here's the statistics that I was uh, statistic that I was telling you guys about um, just a few minutes ago, which is that you know, as I mentioned, reviews play an enormous role in your reputation. I mean, more than eighty percent of all consumers actually read the reviews. So it's not just even talking about like the technical aspect of it, right? So make it a like, priority to encourage customers to leave reviews. Um, so let's go into this cool little bonus section on like creative ways, right? Where um, you can actually get um, more reviews from your, from your customers. Well, what about like creating a, uh, an email sequence to ask customers for reviews and include links to one or more reviews, uh, review sites that that where you know your 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 dealership is listed, uh, provide a review a review template to even make it easier for customers. So you could just do like you know a very short little amount of text, and then would like replace your name or put your name here. That's a really cool way of saying to them, look, we don't want you to do any work, um, but we still would love your help and help you know in 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 helping other folks in the area find us, so we can help more people and we can spread more fun. Um, if a customer is behind the counter or you know, uh, at the, at anywhere at the point of sale um, and expresses gratitude, uh, make it a cultural thing to, be, to, to have your, your staff trained so that they, they, they're like, oh, thank you so much. You know, have, you, uh, you know, have you already left us a review? Would you mind sharing that, you know, that, that, that point of view that you just shared with me with people locally so, they, you know, so it can help us if, uh, them find us, you know? Um, so those, uh, here are some more ways. Let's see. Um, responding to all reviews. Well, you guys kind of already heard me go off on that tangent and I was on my soapbox there for a while. But all kidding aside, customers are more likely to leave a review when they know that um, the business it's, itself regularly responds to the reviews. They will go even further and more people will respond if they know or think that it's the owner as well that's leaving the review. So that's something important to keep in mind. A lot of dealers already kind of do this, which is you know giving spiffs and giving incentives uh, to their uh, employees for asking for reviews. You know, maybe make it like a little competitive thing. You know, whoever gets the most reviews gets a hundred dollar gift card from Amazon. You know, whatever the case may be. Maybe encourage your salespeople to have handwritten notes sent to ask for reviews, or you know, or offer freebies. Offer freebies when you ask for a review. Now, keep in mind the important thing here. In order for you to stay within the boundaries of the policies of, of you know these big networks such as Facebook and Google, is that you cannot say you'll give them a freebie in exchange for a good review. You can only offer a freebie in exchange for a review. So that's a little technicality there. So I want to show you guys a little bit of what the process looks like in and of itself of like having a system that's automated sending uh, requests for reviews. And, um, and this one I'm super excited about. It's actually, we came up with it um, and, and created it on Dealer Lead Pro. And the awesome thing about this is that it stores information. You know what, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm just gonna play the video for you. Let me know if you guys can hear the audio okay, please. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through what the um, average, let's just say, um, <clears throat> review request journey would kind of look like, right? Let's look at um, like one of our most recent uh, dealership uh, clients that uh, we have built this for. Essentially, what we'll do is we'll request a very simple report, just only requiring or asking for full name for the customer uh, who has transacted with the dealer on all departments, uh, service, um, parts and accessories, as well as um, sales of new and used units and then um, their respective email address and phone number. And from that, we upload and we add them to a sequence, which currently it's kind of a basic sequence as far as um, 
the way it's built, it's essentially just a review request email and a review request text. The text is very simple. We actually have the capacity to add an image. So like we can add up top the dealership's logo and then it'll say, thanks for choosing, you know, the name of your dealership, your satisfaction, satisfaction satisfaction is very important to us. We'd greatly appreciate to find out the opportunity how we met your, if we met your expectations. Um, and then, you know, a trigger link. Trigger link just means that we can do various things when that actual user clicks on that link. It can notify us, it can let us know of a bunch of different things. Um, but the, the link essentially leads to the same place, which I'll show you guys in a second where it leads to. Um, and then this is what the email would look like. It's very simplistic, just trying to really get an answer from them. The logo is clickable to the landing page and then the same thing here with the, you know, click here. Let me show you what the landing pages look like as far as the review request is concerned because this is one of the parts that's like really, really, really cool. So where they're gonna be driven, right, is to a landing page. As you can see here, it's a subdomain jackrabbit.messageflow.com slash reviews. We actually have the capacity of, you know, if your name servers can be edited, if you have access to them, um, we can edit that so that actually shows your dealership's um, domain. So it would say something like reviews.abcdealer.com as an example. Um, and then the cool, really, really cool thing about this particular technology and using a system or software like this is that so you've got here, okay, you sent out a request and then they tell you, I had an excellent experience, great. Let's not beat around the bush, waste any time and distract them. Let's just get them to the nitty gritty of what we want them and need them to do, which is to leave a review. So we've kind of opened it, you know, open the gate and you click leave a review um, and then it should point directly if it's Google My Business to this part this is something that's very important for all of you. Keep this in mind for any review software that you use, that your link that you want to take it to is to the one where it actually prompts people to be able to leave a review. Because otherwise people have to look for it and they're not going to do that. Where is it? Write a review. Look at that. See? So it's not very easy to find. You want to make sure you use that link. We have it linked on the landing page both for... Um, the leave us a review and then also the the logo does the same thing as well now what happens if they said they have a bad or a terrible experience well i'm glad you asked now we really want to know why this person did not have a good time with our dealership right we want to make things right and we want to gather data to understand so let's ask them about where um what their the purpose of their visit was were they buying a, a vehicle were they servicing buying parts etc so now we'll just say vehicle and I'm just gonna say test here. And then, but the person is now obviously required to kind of give us an overall. Now the different questions that we have here can be customized. So we can have as little as just one question, 10 questions and we can make it, make it a full out survey. I don't recommend making it something more than two or three questions. Um, most of our dealers just have about three maximum. And that's because you really wanna gather the data and the information and people will get discouraged if you make it too long. And it's better to create that personal bond by actually calling them and reaching out to them and touching base and making sure that things are um, okay. So at this point, you know, you say, we'd like to make things right, please share some final details. We usually will just make full name and email required with phone number optional. Most people end up anyways filling out the phone number. When submit is hit, this feedback not only will now be registered inside of the forms that were submitted, um, It'll also send the dealer a notification with information directly on the email that the person just filled out, their contact info, what kind of feedback they left. And then the user is now opened up to um, calling the, the dealer directly. So this is a clickable link that will open up FaceTime or will open up the dialer if you're on a phone. It's apologetic in nature uh, to them to let them know that it means a lot to you that you know you weren't able to meet their expectations. And this is a great system to make sure that you know, you're continuing to grow your reviews and also your average review gets, becomes higher and higher and higher as far as your, um, how many stars you have, but also that you get as many reviews as possible and very importantly that you collect and survey data on the internal problems in the dealership so that you can fix them and address them. All right, let me know if you guys can still hear me okay. That, that part, um, 
is uh, is really, really important, guys. Super, super important part um, because the the more we generate reviews, um, the better. And it's just, you know, not only as far as generating a higher quantity, but also higher percentage, meaning like that we make sure that the efforts that we put out there are all geared toward getting that five star. We all know perfection is, you know, almost impossible, but we can strive for it or past it and then maybe land somewhere pretty close to it. Um, so what's important to know, and I think I may have one more short, quick video um, for you guys, if I'm not mistaken, I think I, I may be wrong. Um, we may just be about to to wrap it up. So just bear with me here. Um, you guys have been super, super cool and staying super engaged on chat and staying on. Um, we're about to just be here on the final stretch right now we're about to hit that so create high quality relevant content um, for your website and for social media so use your hero banners on your site make it relevant right um not, not only i mean when we say relevant one of the first things a, a lot of people are to like oh okay we'll make it a labor day one because you know labor day and all of that yeah that that's good but make it more relevant like we have other another webinar that speaks to um customer avatar and what it really means to find uh, you know, what, what uh, the persona, the client persona of your target demographic. So try to think about that and speak on each slide to that. For those of you that are multi-line dealerships, you'll have one avatar for a slider that is for personal watercraft. You'll have another avatar for somebody who rides cruiser bikes or, or touring bikes. You have another avatar for somebody who does off-roading on ATV. So you have multiple avatars, right? But speak with quality content and relevant content to them. Engage regularly um, and interact with your followers. So part of that becomes obviously the reviews and the testimonial, which is one of the next bullet points. Have a system in place to periodically check reviews and, and the testimonials and reply to them, right? Monitor your social media mentions and respond when it's appropriate to do so. Respond to all reviews, good and bad, no matter what, in a professional matter, uh, manner. And keep up with technological advances, um, such as, for instance, accepting mobile payments is a great way, a great example. I know Connect has that option available. Um, asking your online followers for their opinion and, and uh, listening and you know listening to their concerns, and regularly showing appreciation for your customers who are going to become you know your brand ambassadors. I mean, in summary, um, if I could just tell you guys, if I could put it in a nutshell. You really can't control every single aspect of your online reputation, but you can control a lot, if not most of it. Take an active interest and engage uh, with your followers. Make their satisfaction truly a priority, and you're just gonna see an enormous boost in your reputation. Um, your online reputation is just a tremendous, tremendous aspect of your success um, and your digital marketing and, and uh, health. Um, and you're just, once it does better, it's almost like your immune system is the best way I could say it. Your reputation online is like your digital marketing immune system. <laughs> Quote me on that, guys, okay? You can attract new buyers when, and retaining loyal ones when you get your online reputation right. Um, it's really important. I would say that today's biggest takeaway for the webinar is to be engaged, be informed, and be involved in your dealer's online reputation. If you are, I really do think once you start measuring and manage, managing that, that the rest is just pretty much gonna take care of itself. Don't worry so much about the automation and the which software, oh my goodness. Don't focus so much or micro focus on the small details. If you, I think in general, just kind of start getting a baseline, you're, you're gonna do just fine. So let's do a quick recap, right? And then we're gonna get into some Q and A, let you guys, um, maybe we could do some samples or, or some examples or whatnot. So one of the main things we talked about, get a grip on, on your dealer's web reputation. So start getting a baseline, understand where you're at. That's gonna be the biggest takeaway and where to get started. Then start digging a little deeper, start claiming your listings and, and uh, on your re on review sites, um, and then start updating them and changing them once you claim them. Make sure that you reply to all reviews, good and bad. Okay, prioritize your dealer's reputation management. And this is part of the last slide as far as entering to all of them. It just has to be a part of your priority. Get more reviews and monitor them, uh, them as in being the reviews, um, and also your listings and your citations and your NAP, remember the NAP, name, address, and phone number, by leveraging tools. 
You know what? If you find it feasible and affordable to use a certain tool, use it. Use it to your advantage. Just don't just don't get the subscription and then just let it, you know, just sit there and get like dust and then like, oh crap, I gotta cancel the subscription six months out, right? We all know we're all guilty of that. But leverage tools to your advantage. And that's it for today, guys. I hope that this was really informative. Um, I don't think I've ever really been able to stick to schedule like I did today. <laughs> kind of surprised. But I'm super excited about that because if you have any questions, I'm all ears right now, put them in chat. I think I may even be able to let some of you speak if you wanna actually be heard. Um, I can even do a screen share and pull some stuff on my screen, it's up to you. If not, if you're a little bit more of a shy person or just don't feel like talking today, uh, feel free to get a one-on-one -on -one with me and we can just kind of go over your reviews and where you're at. No obligation whatsoever for, you, for us to do anything for you guys, um, but we'll give you a complete, very comprehensive report for free. And I'll gladly do that. It's part of my commitment to making this industry more empowered and making it better. Um, so hit me up by all means. With that, I'm gonna open it up to some Q&A. Um, let's see. Yeah, hit me up. You could use the chat or use the Q&A option too on Zoom, um, either way. So Daniel, let's see. Where can you find a good list of listing sites? That's a really good question. Um, let me see if I can just quickly share my screen. We have, if I am not mistaken, uh, a, a good one on our website that has it. So let me just point you in that direction. I may be able to share this on the blog, or sorry, on the chat. Um, <clears throat> let's see. It's gonna be under articles. And by the way, just wanna know our site is not this slow. <laughs> it's my internet. <laughs> Let's see. Oops. Okay, there we go. So listings and citations. I'm gonna get you this link in a second let's see and this is going to give you probably about 70 of them if i'm not mistaken um yes rob uh city search definitely yelp definitely um you know uh, what's the other one it's, uh yelp um shoot I'm having a blank. Hold on, let this thing load. It's my internet that's going terribly slow and it doesn't want to load. Um, let me see. Any any of my team members on this call that could pull up that article from our blog because my internet's just crawling and um, and then drop it in there in the chat, that would be awesome. And we'll give you, we'll send you that link. Um, our, our blog on the Beyond Creative website, it has the listing. One of the articles on there is like the top listings. Let me see. All right. So, um, yeah, that, I'm going to give you that link in a second, um, Daniel. And let's see. Okay, Rob's pulling it up himself. Awesome. Cool deal. So City Search, Yelp. Yeah, we can email you guys too with that link too. Those are important ones. Um, on some of the reports, you know, you'll see, like for instance, let's go to Let's go to one of our most recent reports. You guys feel free to put any new questions there on the chat, by the way. Let's see, so we're gonna do um, Atlanta, let's say Atlanta. Yeah, like this one, okay. So let's go to this one. So let me go to like the actual, okay. So Foursquare, that's the other one I was thinking about, gosh. So here's, so here's an example like, okay, we, by the way, don't recommend, uh, we do not recommend doing more than, than, than three uh, request reviews. Like when you go to the landing page, as an example, let's say jackrabbit.com slash reviews. Okay. Oh, there's the link. Okay, awesome, Nick. Yeah, so um, 
I'm going to click into it too. Okay. Yeah. So when you have like here, let's just have you have a good, a good experience. Okay. What you want to list here is we recommend listing no more than up to three links here. So meaning like maximum Google, Facebook, and you know, Yelp. Most dealerships, by the way, will be lacking here. I would venture to say most businesses because Yelp is just brutal. There's a really funny uh, like skit of Anthony Bourdain where he's like, Yelp, F him. And he's literally going town because Yelp has a very nasty culture as far as like, it's very bashful online, you know, they're like the bullies of review sites. So, um, so a lot of dealers need help with that. So Yelp, you know, one of the things I recommend to our dealers is like, Hey, like right now, for instance, let's focus on your Google. Hey, let's switch that out. And then for the next month or for the next two months, we're going to focus on Yelp, um, or Facebook or whatever the case may be. Uh, but as you could see here again, um, these are, you know, some of probably the top five that you're going to run into yellow pages, Foursquare, Yelp, Facebook, and Google, you know, in this respective order, um, aside your, your average stars on each network, there's going to be an average rating for your overall online. Okay. So that's another aspect of it. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah, so I hope that answers your question, uh, Rob, with regards to like City Search, Yelp, et cetera. Um, let's see what else we got going on that we could share with you guys. Yep, my pleasure, anytime. Um, let's close this one out. Um, where are we at? Oh, got the wrong one. Okay, so I'm going to show an example of a citation. Citation is kind of like a fancy word for just really essentially a listing. So, I mean, if you were to go, like, let's say, uh, Peterson's as an example, this is a listing and a citation. Peterson is a, uh, a customer of ours, great customer of ours, um, great people. Um, you know, th this is a, a citation essentially. Obviously this is a very common known one because this is Google, but you know, some that may be a little bit more obscure. These are like the top, but I'm sure that a lot of people, for instance, may not have heard of like biz journal, uh, you know, get fave. Um, so a lot of these, you know, so this is, so like, let's just say, I'm going to show you the example of one, like, let's say, for instance, um, let's go to Yelp as an example. So, so here, when you click in, right, um, what you've got is when you look at the actual, like, let's just say the V shop. So this is the citation for the V shop. Okay. And here's part of their nap, right? The, they've got the name. Um, they have got, where's our address here on Yelp. They've got their phone number right here. And then the directions, which is embedded in here is the address. So address and phone number, and then, you know, name, obviously one, that is not part of the nap, but it's super critical, you know, for you to gain uh, actual ranking is this one right here, which is the, the URL, the domain name is super, super, super uh, critical and important. You gotta make sure that that's correct across the board. And then what you wanna do here is see how it says here claim. That means that business owner went in there and like claimed the actual um, profile. So this is a perfect example of a citation, AKA a listing, AKA a profile. Profile is another way that they, they commonly call it as well. Um, let's see. Okay, perfect. So any other questions that you guys may have?
any aspect, like let's say for instance, maybe one thing I can walk you guys through as far as like here. Uh, oh, Rob, that's a, that's a good question. Um, and I'll answer that right now. So let's see. So your question is, how do you handle social media hijackers? Okay, um, that's, a, that's a really good question. The first and immediate thing that you should do always if you um, suspect that your social has been hijacked is for you to change your password. Don't even think it through. If there's a suspicion, immediately change your password. The second next step that I would recommend that you immediately do is for you to contact that network's administrator. So if it's Facebook, it's Facebook. And yes, I know that it could be nightmarish to contact these people. Believe me, we know. It's worth it though that you invest the time, energy, and effort that if you literally have to you know, spend two hours collectively having to reach out to these folks, that you do so. Because the nightmare and, and anguish that it can cause you if you do not regain that as soon as possible can be horrific. So what you gotta make sure to do is to spend the time devoted to regaining that for, with help from the actual platform, all right? Um, and, then, and then subsequently, so let's see, let's see, Rob, you're asking, I'm talking about reviews from people that haven't even been in your business. They're attacking the store from an, huh, okay. Yeah, so really good question. Um, so Rob's asking with regards to like people that essentially they, they, they almost like wage out this personal attack or war um, on the business, but they have had zero personal interaction or experience in the business itself. Um, and it's some sort of like um, attack that they're literally doing to get back at the dealership for whatever reason. Um, it's almost like a little army of people that trolls will send. And that's very unfortunate, honestly. There's unfortunately not a lot that you can do the best thing that you could literally do is just contact the platform fl like immediately flag these when they when they become apparent flag them flag them flag them keep track of them put these in the spreadsheet we talked about at the beginning of the webinar um and um and by the way i i know i can just see that we're at it we're about to run out of time so i'm going to continue on probably just for five or ten more minutes past the hour um, but those of you that, you know, obviously feel like you have to go or whatever the case might be, um, I, I completely understand. I want to be respectful of your time. For those of you that want to stay, by all means, you're welcome to continue staying with me. Um, yeah, so mark those. So, so flag them and, and tell Google or Facebook why you're flagging them. And, and, you know, if you've got enough proof documented, what's going to eventually happen is you may be able to make a compelling case where now a ton of them can actually fall off. Um, I, I wouldn't say hold your breath to it. It's very difficult. Um, but the other option that there is to it, aside just being at the mercy of these networks and them actually like removing the comments or the reviews, would actually be to counter that with efforts to get more reviews from your customers. And so you have to go obviously extra above and beyond for you to try to counteract what these people are doing. Eventually they're going to stop and they're going to give up. And of course, unfortunately, the damage will have been done. But, you know, you could do something to try to swing it um, the other way around. Yeah, so Rob's saying that that's exactly what, what they've done. Yeah, that's the best thing you guys could probably do right now if you're seeing that you're not getting any support from the, 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 lit, the directory sites, which I'm not terribly surprised at by any means, you know. You could ask any of our team members. They'll tell you how long it takes us, you know, to open a ticket. Oh, don't worry about it. Just open a ticket with Google. <laughs> that's a joke. So um, let me show you guys a little bit because I had a, a, a comment sent to me with regards to like, um, you know, what it would look like and to making it easier to understand, like as far as like the, the part of being able to reply to reviews. But like, let's say for instance, on something like Dealerly Pro, which is something that we include in every single engagement that we have with any of our dealers. So when they come on board as a beyond creative dealer and now, you know, we're one family, um, what we'll immediately do is that we will include for our dealerships, the Dealerly Pro subscription. And man, is there a lot of stuff packed into it. It's really unbelievable. I mean, for me, I totally geek out with this. I'm such a nerd with it. Um, it's got scheduling widgets that you can use for service for the sales department, amazing reporting with attribution, Facebook ads, Google ads, 
marketing campaigns. So you could do sequences, you could do email blasts, one-on-one -on -one, um, text message, text message blast, forms, triggers. I could go on and totally geek out. But the one that I really wanted to show you guys was the reputation, right? So here's what's really cool. Not only can you see the requests that any particular people will have sent out, but you can also see um, like the reviews left. This one in particular, I believe, was it? Yeah, okay. And uh, so this is really cool. You can select the networks, right? And then you can say, obviously the ones that have been integrated through the settings, it allows you to select there's more in the settings part. Um, but, but these are the primary ones. And then you could say, well, I want the ones for minimum you know, rating of one, or I want all the five-star ones. In reality, you should just be answering to all of them. <laughs> um, but you get my point. You know, maybe you want to address the negative ones first. So you put in here, okay, max rating one, uh, that's, sorry, max rating one star. And then they have no one star. That's amazing, you know? So then you say, okay, max rating two star. And then you start replying to these. As you can see, you know, um, it, 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 they're being answered, you know? And that's really what's critical and what's important. Um, so this aspect of it, man, you could do it right then and there, whether it's a Facebook or a Google My, uh, you know, or Google My Business Review, you can do them all from right here. And that's, I really love that aspect of it aside, you know, kind of what I was showing you guys um, for the review system that we have for sending out like the, the, the landing pages and, and the emails. Um, okay, cool deal.